Oh, what do we have here? Just got in another delivery from BTCM. Houston? Houston, we have a problem. We have a problem. Could I interest you in some boulevards? This is the Mars Lander Solo Bitcoin Miner from BTCM. This is Vosk from the Voskcoin YouTube channel. You know, that crazy dude who's been building out his own Bitcoin mining farm. You know what I like? I like Bitcoin. So that means that I need to have some places to turn dollars and other altcoins into Bitcoin. And a great option for that would be today's paid sponsor, Kraken. Kraken has a public proof of reserves page, which I absolutely like. User-friendly interface, high security practices, partnerships. And I've used it as an on off ramp for cryptocurrency trading in the past. If this interests you, please use our sign up link in the video description below. And remember that Kraken may not surface your area. You can click that link and find out. And as always, this information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. It does not constitute financial advice. I'm required to say that. The Marslander is a solo Bitcoin miner, right? It's got some RGB. It's basically a souped up, boxed up USB Bitcoin miner. But remember that it doesn't just have to mine Bitcoin. It mines the SHA-256 mining algorithm, secure hashing algorithm, 256 byte. That means it mines Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, BSV, Digibyte, as well as other cryptocurrencies. And if you like things like the nerd miners, the nerd axis, this comes with an OLED screen that also will give you live Bitcoin prices and mining statistics. Well, let's check it out. Interior black box here with uh, white paper aspects printed on it. Honestly, pretty cool. Nice touch. I'd love to see more things like that in Bitcoin products. Let's check this out. Do not disconnect until the setup has been complete. Comes with a power supply. This kind of coloring and detail means this is laser etched on here. 100 to 240 voltage, 1.2 amps max. This five voltage output, six amps, 30 watts, right? So this is essentially uh, for comparable, like a bit X power supply. Uh, Bitcoin March branded here on the front. It has a nice little LED icon. I like when it has the little light on it and that should hopefully tell us if it can help give us an indicator quickly if in the future it's not working. It's like, oh, well the light's off. Looks like something went wrong with the power supply. The Mars Lander is designed, put together in California, but of course all these components generally are made in China. This is the Mars Lander version two, which can mine up to 250 giga hash per second on Bitcoin or simply Bitcoin's mining algorithm. It consumes less than 17 watts of electricity. And that's the Compaq F, which is what we have. Born out of gecko science. All right, so I turn my Wi-Fi on and off. If it doesn't all already show up, that normally gets it to populate for me. I'm gonna set this thing up on my phone. I see it generating a Wi-Fi network for me to connect to, marslander underscore setup. I put that address into my uh, browser here, clicked refresh, got my Wi-Fi. So I click my Wi-Fi, I punch in my Wi-Fi password, and then I can enter any mining pool information I want in here. I copied my Bitcoin address, I pasted it, dot worker name here, so we'll just put in Marslander. We will click save, settings, save successfully, system will reboot in five seconds. Pretty slow, but we can see it turning back on. Shows Bitcoin Merch's logo, which is kind of cool. Especially for them as uh, essentially the maker and white labeler of this product. Thank you to Bitcoin Merch for making today's video possible. Check them out with the link on the video description below. 
Don't forget to punch in code VOSCOIN to save some coin. If you enjoyed today's video, you want us to make more of them, and you happen to want to get this hardware or something else that they sell, really appreciate it when you guys take the time to use our links. As always, I'm not here to push stuff on you, but if you do want it, it means everything when you take the time to give us credit for it. And we are hashing, baby. So I run several Bitcoin mining nodes. I also run my own private Bitcoin mining pool instances. So I'm, so I'm truly mining Bitcoin in a decentralized solo manner. But for the purposes of this video, I just used uh, CK Pools public solo mining stratum. But if this is your first Bitcoin miner, you don't need to just jump into the deep end and buy a node, set it up, maybe get frustrated or confused, right? Step one is just to get the thing online, get it working, get it hashing, right? And then from there, it's kind of, where do I go from this? How do I upgrade? What do I want to do? What's, what's the best play, right? So ideally, the best things we all do is we all run our own Bitcoin uh, nodes. We all run our own Bitcoin miners. And then we all run our own private Bitcoin mining pools and we hash to our own mining pools. And then we would truly be running a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency in the most beautiful, fundamentally correct way. And by doing this, by running my own pool, I'm not paying a mining pool a fee, right? You hit a block with CK pool, they're taking a fat chunk. I think it's like 3%. Uh, that's a lot of money coming out of a Bitcoin block reward, you know, that's over $300,000, $400,000 uh, per block. Pretty wild. But as always, one step at a time, right? Let's talk about some math, too. So this thing is supposed to be doing like 250 giga hash a second. Uh, and we'll monitor that and see if it really does what it's supposed to do. Step one, I need to see this thing pop up uh, pool side. Uh, so I'm going to go to sololuck.com. The best. Bitcoin solo mining calculator in the world ever. We made it. How can I not be proud of it and like it? If there's something we didn't like, we'd refine it. All right, so I click the little bar over on the side, switch it to gigahash, and then I punch in the number. So 250 gigahash, right? So for a couple hundred bucks, I take my shot at mining Bitcoin. I have a one in 72,000 chance per year. Right now it's reporting 211 gigahash a second, but it's still ramping up. I do think the price ticker feature on this thing is cool. Uh, but, and I love that it reports the blocks to me. It'd be very cool to see that change to uh, a one. Or even more if we're getting a little greedy. Nice little fun animation. Reminds me of the Boss Coin 8-bit uh, outro here on the YouTube channel. Initial impressions, it's sweet. It's cool. It's fun. It's easy. It worked. It did everything that it was supposed to do. Uh, but it's pretty expensive for what it is. I mean, uh, for this price point, I can nearly get into a Nerd QX++. And a Nerd QX++ would equate to 20 of these, right? I could also get into a Bitax Gamma that would hash at probably four times the speed for one third to one half the price of the Mars Lander. I think it's a cool, fun product, uh, but maybe it's a little late. It's kind of using outdated Gecko Science hardware and uh, it's, it's, kind of, it's priced heavily. But if you look at it and you think it's fun and you think it's cool, like, get it right but for the price and the functions i'm looking at the brains mini miner i'm looking at the bit axe touch i'm looking at just simply the nerd axe and nerd q axe right we get we get the uh, esp32 screen functions there and of course you can always just go out there and buy a full-size bitcoin miner but understand that those full-size bitcoin miners probably aren't going to be mining right for 17 18 watts of electricity measured here at the wall they're probably not going to be mining over wi-fi they're probably not going to be this quiet. This thing's very quiet. I wouldn't say it's silent. Came in real close. Hopefully you can pick that noise up. With the case on it, it's hard to kind of notice the heat that it puts off. And you can only make so much heat with 17 watts. It puts off a little bit more heat than you may expect. But like, as far as like looking at the weather and what it technically is and what it feels like, I'd say it feels like it's not really making any heat. What do you think about the Mars Lander? For me, cool product. Not priced right, and with so many and so much competition in the mini Bitcoin mining game, uh, the performance has to go up or the price has to come down. I'm Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. This is our CBO, our Chief Bitcoin Officer, Tails. We're in 10 seconds of Tails in every video. She kickstarted this crazy crypto journey, uh, and uh, I'm thankful every day. So I appreciate you. I hope you hit the next block. Good luck, and remember, you're not going to hit the next Bitcoin block if you're not running any hardware. Zero, zero. But have you ever looked up the history of zero? It's a weird number, man.
And I'm sick of AI translating my name as Bosco. My name is Vosk. Vosk of Voscoin. With the V. Victor Oscar Sierra Kilo, motherfucker.